Hey besties, I just finished watching the um, fourth episode of the second season of The Boys. That was a lot. Um, wow, I really, really love this episode. I know you can see my fan and the dog toys. As soon as I sat down, I realized they were there and I was like, you know, forgive me or don't. I don't know what to say. I'm not getting up. There it is. Um, so I watched The Boys and honestly... This is one of my favorite episodes of the entire series so far. I really, I really love how it was just character driven. There was not a lot of the superhero stuff. It was really just our team of the boys doing some investigative work and Butcher trying to reconnect with his wife. And we had Homelander trying to gain control of his team. So really... And how those two things Venn diagram uh, together a little bit. So, um, Homelander's pissed because he's losing control. He thinks this new girl Stormfront is, which there's an interesting little side plot there. Um, Stormfront is fucking with his juju. The rest of the team is losing respect and not paying attention. He knows that Maeve has a girlfriend and he's mad about all of it. So he gets Maeve to confess and he outs her on TV um, because they're asking him about diversity. Uh, and this is a spoiler filled episode of this recap show. So if you've not watched this episode, please get over to Amazon and check it out. And this is not sponsored, by the way. So he um, he's also, of course, mad at Stormfront and she does not stop pushing him. And we'll talk about why soon. Um, the rest of the team is doing their own thing and he, oh, and he's mad at, uh, Starlight. Her name's Starlight. Uh, that's not her real name, but that's her little soup name. I can't think of her name. What is it? The one that likes Huey, right? Um, he's mad at her because she wouldn't kill Huey and she's like, kill me then if you want to, but I'm mad at him anyway and we're broke up. We're not together. He totally bought it. So um, he let her live. She was like digging into her side like he was going to reach in and grab her shit. Like her uh, organs and shit. Oh my God, it was not her, I, I hope not her actual shit. That's really gross. But you know what I mean, just like her guts and stuff. Which still, really gross. Um, so she's tripping on him, but she's still colluding with Huey because... Honestly, she's disgusted by Vought. She's disgusted by how they've made all these superheroes and disgusted that she's having to work with them. So, and really she probably wouldn't be except that she feels like it would be dangerous to leave and she can get more information on the inside. So, it's a dangerous game to be sure. And her and Huey are constantly like meeting in places and I'm like, you guys are so gonna get busted. And you know at some point they will. Okay, so for our team, um, Butcher found out where Bex was taken with the boy, and he's going after them. The rest of the team is like, oh, hell to the no, but he don't listen. Oh, no. He's a madman. <sighs> totally handsome, and I absolutely love him, but a madman. Uh, Mother's Milk and Huey are going off to talk to a woman to find out some more information about the superheroes and this superhero called Liberty. Um, ends up that Starlight is gonna go with them. Her name will come to me or not, whatever. And um, Frenchie goes off to see his girlfriend, which frankly, I forgot he had. So it was really cute the way that they reconnected. I loved it. He explained that he tried to kiss Kamiko to make her feel better. And the girlfriend's like, I'm not even jealous, bro. Whatever. You know, and he, I'm sure he knew that she wouldn't be. And that's why he told her. I love their relationship once I was reminded of it. Because it's just, I accept you as you are. I accept you as you are. You do you. I do me. And we come together when we come together. So it's, that's honestly exactly the kind of thing I would want. So, um, it was cute. Um, Butcher had a hard time. Butcher had a hard time because his girl is breaking up with him. There's just no two ways about it. 
He wants her to come with him and everything to be like it was. Well, things can't be like that because she has Homelander's son and that's her son. And he wants her to leave his, her son to the corporation and come with him. She's like, bro, I'm not doing that to my son. And that you don't, to me, to me, I would, what I would have said would be the fact that you can even think that I would do that means you have no clue who I actually am as a human being. I think that we've got to rethink what we've got going here because who even are you right now? So he was really being selfish and really being ridiculous and she didn't yell at him or anything. Of course not. She's broken hearted. But she's like, bro, you got to go. And I have to stay with my son. I will not let him be without his mother. So she drove away from him and forced him to leave because she hit the button for the guards. Because she's on bought property. They came and got her after he found out. After it was revealed and Homelander knew, it, the jig is up. They went and got her, right? And the boy. So I feel really bad for Butcher, but... You know, bro, you need to grow up a little bit. You have this romantic view of what can possibly happen with you and your woman, and she's not even remotely the same person she was before Homeland rape, Homelander raped her. So, you, you, honestly, what are you even expecting? And the most interesting tidbit of the entire episode, and it... Honestly, it would have been cooler if they flipped the way they revealed it because um, Stormfront girl, the new girl with the brown outfit and the brown hair, she says to Homelander, you've got to learn to change with the times. I certainly did. And it would have been a what moment? Except you already know that she is Liberty. And you know that because they tracked down the girl who whose brother was killed by Liberty right before she disappeared. And she goes, Liberty is not dead. Because they're telling her no one's seen her since 1979. She goes, no, no, bro. Here she is right here. And he gives her the newspaper with the picture of Stormfront. And then in a little, in just a couple minutes later, you hear her say, I changed with the times. So instantly you know it's true. I find that to be so fascinating and cannot wait to see where they're going to take the episode, the next episode. So I really, really enjoyed this particular episode of the show in a show that I already find to be really well done. It is such a well done show. Um, before we leave, I was trying to watch that new show Raised by Wolves and I may pick it back up. But I'm not enjoying it, you guys. And it's really hard for me to stick with a show I don't enjoy just to review it. Because it's it's kind of like with The Mandalorian last season. My reviews were not positive. I did not enjoy the show. I found it to be poorly written and poorly thought through. And I didn't like it. And that's how I feel about Raised by Wolves. There are certain things that don't make sense in the show. Like... Just for one instance, there is uh, two androids who come to this planet to raise children to save the human race. They raise their first six, they make their first six children, they birth them, and raise them, but they start dying. And who, we find out later on, episodes later, that the reason they're dying are the fuel cells for the ship are radioactive and they're getting cancer. They're androids. Why would they not know that? Why would the creators who made them to do this not clearly give them the full knowledge of the ship that they were in? It is such a huge glaring pothole that it completely destroyed any enjoyment I was having for the show. And I just can't get back anything I might have liked about it because yeah, I'm pretty good about suspending reality for shit. That was a step too far. I just cannot with that. That is bullshit writing. And there's no reason why it couldn't have been an atmospheric, atmospheric thing that they had to find a way to combat and finally did after a lot of kids died or whatever. But 
no, it was bullshit. So I didn't, in, I'm not enjoying the show. I'm, I'm only like on the fourth episode or something. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not going to keep going. So I just wanted to let you know that's not going to be happening on the channel. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. We will see you tomorrow when we talk about Love, Lovecraft Country. I don't know why Lovecraft doesn't want to come out of my mouth sometimes. It's a wonderful show that I am still enjoying quite a bit. So hopefully I'll enjoy tomorrow's episode as well. Please let me know in the comment section what you are thinking about the boys or Lovecraft Country, or Raised by Wolves. Let me know what you're thinking, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to click the rest of the buttons down there and share this video. Bye!